this is one of my student game and this is white to play so you can pause the video and try to think what will happen it's a very good position to think so when she was showing me this game she played here a6 but uh, i was thinking maybe b6 is stronger so i was how i thought i will just tell you guys first i saw b6 king here king e2 f5 this g5 king c2 here takes takes king c3 h5 if you play king d4 this takes f3 and black is winning this part i saw very quickly i was very i was a little bit impressed how i found all this very quickly and also after e3 king d3 very strong move and uh, first i thought it's white is winning but then after we know with little bit concentration then i found f3 it is black who is winning not white then suddenly i to my surprise i thought wow king d2 and i'm winning so okay. i mean if you play e3 e3 or f3 no there is no tactics and i have b6 a5 pawn and i'm winning then i was thinking like this suddenly i saw after f4 i don't have to do all this long calculation either king d4 all this is very big unnecessary i can simply play g4 and i'm winning so suddenly g4 moves strike me and i thought all this calculation that i did is not that necessary but okay what i did is also good but then g4 is very simple next move i taking into c3 and i'm winning then so i thought okay it doesn't matter at all i mean whether you play b6 or a6 here it doesn't make any difference and uh, then just to double check my analysis whether my analysis is correct or not because we are analyzing games and i had to check many more students game so i was in a little bit hurry also then i switched on computer to check stockfish and here i'll show you guys uh, what i missed after this takes takes h5 i thought king d2 is winning for white but suddenly when i checked with engine engine showed this is a fortress fortress means white cannot improve i mean when i saw this position i was like really surprised it was like really shocking i mean whatever i do if you just pass i cannot improve my position further i mean i cannot go king h3 because of e3 it is black who is winning already and if i overpress by playing such moves then it is black who is winning this e pawn and h pawn is like too much so this is a draw and i was trying to tell my students i am playing chess from last 21 years and i haven't seen such king pawn and game with such a long chess career so you should analyze your own games deeply and uh, in the game this is what uh, happened h4 this black played f3 but white missed g3 move okay they were playing blitz i was analyzing their blitz games only so in blitz okay you can make such mistakes obviously they were playing on seconds but here actually it is black who is winning after f3 mm. so always analyze your games even if it is a blitz games also you can understand such you will get to know such beautiful ideas the correct move order is b6 here king e2 f5 this g5 
king c2 now you must play h5 if you play f4 h g4 etc h5 is the correct move order and after take you play f4 takes we already saw if king d2 you cannot play this move because of takes and white is winning yes if you play this i will take take king e2 and white is winning so black cannot play f3 black must play h4 if i take this take this we already know we have already seen it this is a draw if white plays moves like this and then there is a strong move f3 if you take h3 you have to play king f1 now take if white manages to play g4 then king g1 king h2 he will win but if you play g4 h2 black is winning so if you go here g4 this is a draw white cannot improve his position further so after this if you play king f1 black will just take you take g4 this is a draw so the importance of move order is black should play h5 and take f4 and this position is just a draw takes takes king d to h4 so importance of move order